Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to attach face rigs to body rigs for um, Roblox GFXs, animations and more. So let's get started. Now um, just before I actually do my method of doing this, I just want to mention that I'm going to be using my face rigs and the thing about my face rigs is that the controls are usually the master of the entire rig. That means the face rig will always move along, every single part of it will always move along when the controls of it in object mode are moved along. So if you guys are using different rigs then you're going to have to find what is the master of the rig and use that instead. Just know that all my face rigs and maybe Matt Roblox ones are um well they, they come with their with the controls of the master so uh let's start so first thing you want to do obviously is delete the head of your body rig which sounds stupid i've said it before countless amount of times don't delete the head um however here we have to because then the face rig will be overlapping with the normal head so delete it here by just selecting it in object mode delete easy make sure this is for a rig that is faceless if you're using a matte roblox rig and doing the delete the head method stop and view the video in a card so let's append our face rig so right here in my cloud face folder i'm gonna go and take this uh, one the backup because this one's one i'm working on at the moment so we're gonna use the backup file and click in the collection folder and you will find the name of the face rig here select that and it should give you the entire face rig with everything so you don't need to start messing with what people call junk so i'm going to append this and as you can see we have a head here now this is overlapping uh, what you can do to fix this you can go into edit mode select that bone and just move it upwards it's only a settings bone it doesn't change much so as you can see right here the face rig is here but it is not attached to the head control at all and if we use it all, so it won't move. So let's go and fix that for ourselves. So right here, if we select the cloud face controls, or any face rig that you're using that's made by me, we uh, can go to constraints and don't go to bone constraints, but the normal constraints. And you just want to go right here and add an object constraint and make sure it's a child of. Then use this eyedropper and select the body rig from any place. Then in the bone, just search up head. Now, depending on the rig, this might not show up, so t try just H. And if it doesn't work, then uh, just select the head in the rig and see this right here, which should say the name. So um, now that's done, right here you will see it's all bugged out. If you click set inverse, everything will be back to normal. And you will see the rig moves along perfectly. So that is how you attach a rig. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I do need to address some bugs um, with this Cloudface rig since I am currently fixing them. I've literally redone the entire mouth. I'm currently facing some teeth issues though which I'm going to have to fix and I'm also fixing the eyes because um, they go in a bit deep and um, also the, the issue that I've had with my rig is the fact that the eyes don't show up when uh, everything's moved down here like one of them just bugs so i'm gonna be fixing i'm gonna be completely redoing the eyes and um i should come out with an update of cloud face soon uh for you guys so yeah thank you for watching this video i will see you next time bye